Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Frida here. Today we're gonna be checking out the new Clone Wars trailer and I know what you guys are thinking. Like, we haven't even seen your thoughts on The Mandalorian. We haven't seen your thoughts on The Rise of Skywalker. But I think that after the holidays, I just kind of needed a Star Wars cleanse a little bit because The Rise of Skywalker left me in a place. And one day I will do my review, hopefully soon. But nothing is going to stop me from enjoying the Clone Wars because the Clone Wars for me was like a really big bridge in between Revenge of the Sith and of course episode seven and reinvigorating my love for Star Wars. I feel like I feel like they're really going to nail it because the Clone Wars is just something that universally we all can agree on with Star Wars that is badass and awesome. So I haven't been spoiled on this all day. I don't know what to expect, except of course Ahsoka because she's in the thumbnail, but I'm ready to do this, so let's go. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Soon the galaxy will be remade. The Jedi and the Republic mm. will die. I sense a plot to destroy the Jedi. Great care we must take. Why would anyone walk away from being a Jedi? Hmm. We were trained to be keepers of the peace. Not soldiers. We clowns have mixed feelings about the war. Without it, we wouldn't exist. Action is great. All part of the plan. The plan. Everything is about to change. Soka's outfit looks great. Ooh, I have goosebumps. I'm talking about yes that was great that was beyond great in fact that was more exciting than the trailer for rise of skywalker for like my overall just feelings and being in rise of skywalker i don't know what it is about these characters i don't know if it's just the clone wars in general because we get so much action and we've had so much time i think that's what it is We've just had so many years with Anakin and with Ahsoka and just being on this ride. And so knowing that we're finally going to get a, a kind of an answer as to everything that happened um, with the siege of Mandalore. And, and I just, I don't know. I just, when I watch the Clone Wars and I read the Ahsoka book and I, I hear more and more about Darth Maul and, and Anakin and Obi-Wan, that's what excites me. Um, they're just the characters that I'm most interested in. So this is going to for sure be a win for me. What I'm wondering, and I, already, I think I know the answer already, is if they're going to give us a new episode every week or are we going to kind of, I know we're not going to all get it at one time because obviously they didn't do that with the Mandalorian, but it'd be cool if we got two episodes per week because it's a cartoon. Um, it's a little bit shorter than the Mandalorian, but I think that they really liked the social media presence that the Mandalorian had and the fact that each week when you just let out one episode, obviously it keeps it relevant versus having um just putting them all out there and then people kind of forgetting about it in in a month or two but anyway i think the trailer was great i am very excited about the content that we're getting and that that um 
Uh, Dave Filoni is on board. I don't know if any of you guys watch The Resistance. I feel like I'm one of the few people. I do watch that show. I watch The Resistance. I think I'm maybe two episodes behind. But The Resistance for me is tough because even though we've spent two seasons with them, I don't know if I'm just too old, but like I really don't connect to Kaz that well. I like some of the other characters, but Kaz just annoys the heck out of me. So I'm really happy to be back in the animation with characters that I, I really, really love and I cannot wait until February because I know they're gonna drop the hate. I cannot wait. And um, so good to see everyone again. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, leave your thoughts down below, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.